Oh, just installing a voltmeter on my 2012 Dyna Switchback. A little while ago, I got stranded. Um, the bike kind of died on me. Middle of nowhere, and then the battery light came on. And then just kind of went downhill from there. So, if the only real warning is just that battery light. So, if that comes on, you're kind of screwed. But now, I'm going to see, you know, the voltage on the bike. So now I know if it's charging, if it'll, you know, it's going flat or what's happening. So I was going to just wire it in off the battery or one of the connectors under here, but I'm going to have it maybe lead up through here or take power from under the gauge and, but there is no real place to put the little meter here. It's not very big, but it's flat. And on a Harley, it's hard to find a flat spot. So I just kind of tucked it in here. I took the power off um, the same leads that I have for my uh, my extra light. Just to measure these in there for the headlight and for passing lights and stuff. So with this extra light here, just uh, I have just for just visibility. It, uh, let's see if it'll focus again. It just has 12 volts there, so it's easy to read and get a good uh, voltage signal off there. So you start to dip down a bit there. So, so let's start it and see uh, how that works out. Yeah, they're pretty neutral. So you can tell right away that it's charging, what voltage it has, you know, before the red light comes on in the middle of nowhere and you're totally screwed. So I don't know why Harley doesn't have just volts in their, one of their um, information modes when you flip through the, your trip, but it, they don't. Uh, and it would all be there because like, uh, let me come on, focus camera. because it's all sent over the signal. But anyway, with this, at least you can tell where you're gonna lose your voltage or it's probably the battery or charging or what's going on. At least you have an idea before you're uh, stranded somewhere. Okay, have a great day, goodbye.